Hello, everybody. Um, is this on spinning pinwheel here? Um, spinning pinwheel of doom, I always think. I'm going to put you up in my little position. Could you all tell me in the comments if you can hear me and if you can see me? Here she is. One more. Ready, ready. Three, two, one. Oh. Um, can you hear me? Can you see me? Oh my gosh, your wires are all getting tackled, guys. You're a mess. Oh, hang on. Let's just pop you up there. And then you've got your wire under your bottom. Bear with. Here she is. Hello, hello. You don't want that in shot. Um, we can see and hear you, says Alexandra. Hello, Chloe. Hello, Melanie. Hello, Abby. Hello, Nia. Hello, Lola. Hello, Alice. Hello, Flo. Um, Sarah. Uh, Soph, loads and loads of you. Hello, welcome. Um, I will say today, I think I'm only going to do half an hour because I feel very jaded. I feel fatigued. Um, I've had a coffee as well. I've had half a coffee. Um, this is a because you know I'm not a coffee girly. Hang on, let me spin that around. I had to have two cups, which feels very plastic wasteful. Um, but I asked for a little sleeve, and they said the sleeves don't fit, we'll put it in another cup. But the temperature still gets through. <laughs> I, wondered, I was like, it's still cold on my tiny precious hand. Um, I've been doing beaded bracelets with my daughter, and we love it. Oh, that's so nice. Um, oh, so many of you saying it's the last one. I know, I'm so sorry. So next week, I will not be available. Then the week after that, I will be, but I've just got back from my trip. And then um, the week after that, I think it's kind of almost school time. This is fun in the holidays, but on Mondays usually I do like the kids' clubs. If we can rearrange it a bit so that Liam does it, maybe I can come on here and there, but I just didn't want to commit to something and then be really crap at, like, sticking to it, which is, in fact, the story of my life in every sense. Um, evening, everybody. Oh, oh, hello from Australia. Um, Veronica says, maybe just do them every now and then as a treat. Yes. <gasps> Alexandra says, I spot an ironing board. Alexandra, no, you don't. I tucked it away so far. Hang on. You... You... That. Normally it sticks right out, but I tucked it away so far. Look, I only have to do this. Gone. Um, hello from the Middle East, from Mariam. Hello from California. Um, justice for the ironing board. No, fuck the ironing board. Um, right, uh, did that hurt you if you had headphones on that sound? This coffee, my friend Phil, do you know Phil from the internet? Amazing Phil. His name is not, his name is just Phil, it's not amazing Phil, but he's amazing. Anyway, <laughs> I was like, I need a coffee, what should I have? And he's the one that tells me what coffees to get because I have no clue. Um, and let me just find him. He isn't under Phil in my phone, um, so it's always hard to find him. And he said, his suggestion is grande white chocolate mocha frappuccino. And that's what this is, but I'm just still so tired. I haven't even had a bit of it, it's quite sickly. <laughs> if I'm honest with you, um, the ironing board was Jenny. <laughs> Jenny said. You'd think the ironing board was a bag of meth the way you freak out about it being such public knowledge, not just the ironing board. Wow, Jenny, here, there she is. <laughs> There's the ironing board. Jeeves, wow. Um, gosh, <laughs> I don't really know where to go. Once someone said bag of meth, I don't really know where to go. Um, Alexandra, curious to know what his name is in your phone if it's not Phil. I'll tell you, but it will make no sense at all to you. And even if you remind him of it, I think it will make little sense to him. Well, he might remember. It's Wayne. He's in my phone as Wayne because one time... <laughs> He did a funny accent and said, hello, oh, I'm Wayne. <laughs> it, just, it really tickled me. It's one of those things that's not in the least bit funny if you re-explain it. just sounds really weird. Um, there we are. Um, Jenny, I don't know why I said meth. I have no idea if meth is even stored in bags. I think it. I think everything like that is stored in bags, isn't it? I don't want to start a conversation about D-R-U-G-S because I'll probably get some sort of lifetime ban on here, but... Yeah, I'd imagine it is. 
they could store it in these little cute things like this, couldn't they, in all different colors. I don't want them to store it, I don't want it to exist, it's terrible. Anyway, let's just move on from this. First of all, we've got a little um, haul. And um, yes, Mrs. Stationery stuff confirms that it is in bags, but she would like to stress that that's from watching Breaking Bad and not from her own experience. Okay, uh, lots of people saying, could you change the day of the craft party? It's just, I can't tell you how much, how much stuff my kids do. And it's, I can't add another thing to the evenings. I can't, you won't get the best of me, that's for sure. You'll get like a very drained version. We'll see how we go. Right, come on, let's crack on with a little haul. The first thing is some cards from this little shop called Choosing Keeping. Do you remember that was in my London vlog and I was so excited to find it. This is what it's called. Pause if you want to have a little looky looky. And here's some of the things I got. First of all, not to be so obsessed with Phil, but I bought this card and I'm gonna post it to him because it's full of cheese and he absolutely hates cheese and it just really tickled me to think of him like opening it and being like, oh, Louisa sent me a card and then voila. The next one I got was this one. It is stars. It is embossed. These are shinies. They're embossed. Mm, love a bit of embossment. Uh, and I thought my sister would like this because she likes that kind of vibe, you know, like 1993. Does, does that feel 1993-ish to anybody else? They had a lot of things like that in those days, didn't they? Melanie, we love shiny stickers. Oh, we do, but these aren't stickers. This is a card. Um, this I bought because it just reminded me of books I read as a child. It reminded me of The Tiger That Came to Tea because they go out to a cafe. Is that even a cafe? No. <laughs> it's a sign of letterworks. And it looks like a cafe in the evening, all glowing from the inside. Uh, who am I going to send this to? Don't know. No idea, but I just really liked it. Then this one I just thought was so lovely. It says, Dearest Friend. And that's a bit like my desk because I'm in front of a window and I have curtains like this. And I just thought, yes, that is just so lovely. I'm going to buy that. Send the card to yourself. Not sure. Um, that'd be a bit weird. Um, faking, fake mine craft says, this reminds me of the sun and moon stuff. Oh God. Motifs from the nineties. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, hang on. Let me just turn my WhatsApp off because, um, that is going to ding and annoy. Then they put some of my items in a little bag like this and they use this glorious sticker. Look, got some shinies on it. That's a nice sticker and I wanted to open it on camera but I also don't want to ruin it. But also, what am I going to do with it? It's got their brand name on it. Like, I'm not going to re-stick it. Am I going to re-stick it? Could I re-stick it? I'm going to re-stick it, guys. No, I'm not going to re-stick it. I'm going to just cut it carefully. I'm going to give it the end it deserves. Done, done. Um, Sarah says she wants to be one of those people with a stash of cards so she doesn't have to. Ugh, why is my desk so. Okay, not sticky here, very sticky there. Horrid. We won't touch over here and we won't wonder why it's sticky. Lovely bag. A waxy bag. Do you know what I mean by a waxy bag? You're craft people, that's why you're watching. You appreciate a waxy bag. Oh, made me dribble almost. Okay, what's in the waxy bag? First of all, they had rolls of stickers and they made me so happy. They tore little bits off, so I bought these. What am I ever gonna do with those? But I just liked the shiny AB finish. You know when something has an AB finish or an AB glaze? Does anyone know what AB stands for? If you do, just say, I know, but don't write it. If you don't know, say, I don't know. And then this as well, these little crocodiles, they just reminded me of like my childhood, the nice bits. Only like 2% of my childhood was any good, but these are in the 2%. AB, um, I don't know, someone says, don't know. Someone else says, don't know, says Shirley. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Jasmine says she knows, Sarah says she knows. Mostly, I don't know, Aurora Borealis. That's what it stands for. So next time someone goes with an AB glaze or an AB village, we'll be like, oh, an Aurora Borealis. Um, so any, did anybody else think it was Aurora Borealis? I'm worried now someone's be like, it's not, that's not what it means at all. <laughs> um, well, that's so smart. 
Yes. Oh, so if we all need to like the video. Yes, if you could like the video, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Shirley's mind is blown. Yeah, I can understand that. Um, next up, two cards I bought. And these, if you thought the first cards were good, when you see these next cards, they make my mouth water. It's like I think they're delicious. My brain is going, oh, it's delicious, deliciamus. Um, oh, lots of hearts. Thank you, thank you. Right, are you ready? <laughs> Right, I don't know which one to do first. I'm going to do this one first. It's very difficult. Gosh, okay, ready? Um, what are good beginners crafts for mums with littles and not much uninterrupted, uninterrupted time, says Hannah Williams. Everybody answer that for Hannah in the comments, please. Give us some ideas. Okay, this first card fulfills many, many of my um, crafty, arty, dare I say it, fantasies. It has shells on and I don't know if I've ever really shared this on the internet I love shells when I was little I collected shells with my mum I once went to America into Florida and there was a shell shop and it was like a pick and mix of shells and it was like the greatest place that ever been in my life I still think about it today they because they're American obviously they've got no TT and I love it they painted some of the shells there were multicolored shells there were glitter shells there were gold shells every kind of shell I had a shell box I just look I'm just, I'm, I fucking love shells okay and you know what else I fucking love? I'm sorry I've lost it. Do you know what else I fucking love? Glitter. I'll take it out of its little um, wrap. I'll take it out of its wrap. Because I feel like you need to get a full experience of this. Um, you still love painting shells. Yes. Yes. A lot of you are saying so beautiful. I'd like a little bit more uproar for this uh this card hang on a sec let's get let's get her out oh god she's so moist making look at her mm -hmm. i don't even know who i'm gonna send that to i don't even think i'm gonna send it i could frame it i might frame that and put it in my bathroom it's just a little piece of art i might write a message to myself in there oh god guys I've got it upside down that's better that doesn't look right okay do we think a or do we think B? A or B? And if this is not the content you signed up for, don't know what is. B. Yeah, I've forgotten what A or B. I've forgotten what's what. Right. Shell card. Finally, our last item from this haul. Bear with. Oh, yeah. A bit of Tesco orange squash. This next card spoke to me in so many ways first of all i'm going to unwrap it so you get the full excitement first of all it's got shiny elements to it so it's got it's got shinies on it second of all it's got multicolored shine not just gold shinies it's got gold shinies and colored shinies when you move it a little bit it's got an ab finish it's almost holographic and you know how i feel about holographic third of all well i'll just show you are you ready? It's three cats holding shiny coloured presents. And I am sorry, but if that is not the greatest card you've ever seen in your earthly life, get out. Sign out of this live immediately. I want to watch those numbers plummet if you don't think that that is the greatest card you've ever seen. Look, look, look at the gold. Not only that, but it's not flat. These guys, embossed. Embossed. Three cats holding presents in a gold circle, embossed. Drop them away. There's nothing else I can offer you now. That's the end. <laughs> it's not. Um, whew, wow, wow. Uh, Log says, I wonder if we'll do any crafts today. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Um, wait, where are these all from? They're from a shop called Choosing Keeping. They have an Instagram called Choosing Keeping and they have a website, they ship worldwide called Choosing Keeping. Spread the word. Um, frame art, oh, maybe it's we Weeb says, best card I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know you're over 35 when embossed cards make you happy. Well, wow, Hannah. 
there's a piss on my bonfire. Um, Lydia, do you get the feeling that some things are too pretty or shiny and you need to eat them? Yes, yes. Naomi, I have a little painting business called Flowing Rocks Art and I need to paint cats holding presents. If you have a craft business, feel free to promo it in the comments. Spam away. Right, you've got two choices next. We can either do the art box haul or we can start on some diamond art. I'll open this whilst you decide what you'd like next because I will be doing a bit of this anyway later on tonight. Um, art box haul haul. You guys love a haul. You love a tricky little haul. Not my first rodeo. Of opening a packet. Um, oh. Oh, she's this. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, tiny tray. Hello, so many diamonds. This is it. Got that off Amazon. Immediate. Right, let's just quickly do this all because it's back a bit trouble. Right. Art box. It's a little shop in Covent Garden. It's so popular that it's often a queue, just a little queue. Uh, but I went in with the girl, 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 went in with the girls and said they could pick some things. And we all picked some things. And I shall commence showing you now. One, this tiny little notebook. It was a £1.50 and it has tiny little notes. And in fact, I wrote Pearly a little note to put out for her. I put some little stickers on it. Pearl, you are a kind girl. Well done, love from the fairies. I leave these little notes out for them and say they're from the fairies. Very certain Doss knows the drill, but Pearl still is involved in the magic. There we are. Oh, look. Shut the front door, it's not just lined. We also have some Bojo squares. Bojo for bullet journal, not Boris Johnson. <laughs> I think you knew that. Okay, great. We actually got two of those because they wanted one each. And for £1.50, I was like, silly boots, babes. Um, one of them for £4.50. I don't know who it was that chose this. Probably Pearl. Chose this pen. It's a Pusheen pen. Here it is. And the lid is what's got the pom-pom. So you can write normally unless you want to write like this. But that's probably not very good for your hand. It's quite a heavy one. So, little pen. £4.50, feel like that was too expensive. Um, some little stickers here, these are definitely Darcy's pick for £3.20 from Mogu Mogu or Moju Moju. Look at these, sorry, but hang on, look on the back so you can see what they are. Very cute. Um, I think she wants to use those in her like homework planner, that kind of thing. Um, Pearl, God bless her, she picked some Christmas stickers. She likes a shiny, she's a shinies girl, so I think these appealed to her. Um, little fairy notes, amazing idea. My mum used to write fairy notes for me, says Lucy. Um, blah, 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 blah. Mrs. Stationery Surf, geez, that's expensive for them stickers. Stickers these days. Um, bit of a rip off for the pen, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, Jeffrey says, food stickers are so it right now. Thank you, Jeffrey. I've got loads of food stickers. I am so it right now. Um, Christmas and shiny, yes, says Stacey. Um, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. No, it does not. Uh, next up, this is something that Darcy picked, but we both said we would share it. I, again, who am I going to use this to? Oh, wow, I just got really distracted. The sky looks really nice. Um, it's a writing set, and frankly, I just think that's adorable. This was 4 99 uh, which I think is quite good for, how many do we get? 20, 25 sheets of paper and 15 envelopes. Oh, I guess you might use two sheets per letter. Um, here's all the options you get. That's the menu. The menu, just there. That's nice, isn't it? Cinnamon roll. Is that like a little brand of like cute character? I've never really fully got into like the cute character things. You know, like... um kind of like Japanese-y, kind of is it kawaii cute stuff? I can admire it, I'm like, yeah, cute, I like that. Um, 
but I've never like got into collecting it. I feel like that's something if I got into collecting it, I would never stop. Um, someone said, oh no, Hannah. Oh gosh, what's Hannah said? What have you said now, Hannah? Uh, where are your PJs from? They look so cozy. Oh, these aren't my PJs. <laughs> they, these are my clothes. <laughs> I've been out in this. Um, Charlotte, oh, let me just show you. This, this it's, a, it's a hard dress. This is what I've been wearing today. It's from Joni. Um, but yeah, not, this is my clothes. Oh, how embarrassing. Awkward for me. Yeah. Um, oh, kawaii means cute in Japanese. So when people say kawaii cute, we're just saying cute, cute. Um, hey Louise, reading your book inspired me to write my own. I love that. Um, D, I really enjoy live, Louise. I'm aware this isn't sustainable for your real life, but I've enjoyed what we've had. That's what we've got to cling to, D. We're just going to think, let's just enjoy the time we've had together and, and not focus on what it could have been. Right. Let us commence a little bit of diamond painting. Would you like a bit of table or would you like full face? Let me know, let me know. Face or table? Face, oh, I'm just move my Christmas planner out of the way. Sorry, what? Is it too soon? No. Um, table, table. Yes, if I put you right back here. Get a bit of everything now, don't we? No. Hang on, what if I balance you on this one candle? No, that's a star. Now you've got your, your wild touch of your bums, guys. Um, I can't remember how I did it before when we had a bit of face and a bit of table. How did we do this? E Oh, Sarah, when you work for a well-known supermarket and they've been planning Christmas since January. Sarah, what supermarket do you work for? It's <gasps> a bit too enthusiastic there. Crikey. Okay. Oh, God. Look, we're just going to have to have full table. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, so this is diamond art. It's essentially like a canvas with a sticky sheet over it. And... You get a little tray like this. This is my little tray. The tray is important. It's tray important. You get a little square of gummy stuff. And you also get a little dabber like so. And then here's all of our diamonds. Wow, this has a lot of colours. I'm going to start with R because there's a lot of R's going on down here. I'm going to start at the bottom. And R is 16 in here. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. See, what I really need is like a ton of these little trays to keep loads of colours. Otherwise, you should just do one at a time. And where on earth is the fun in that? Do any of you ever do diamond painting? Where are you, 16? Oh, 16 is such a boring colour. Maybe should we just start from the top, where it's a fun colour. L, L for Louise, that's much better. L is number three. Um, oh yeah, that's a much funner colour. You know what? We're not going to forcibly rip apart the tiny packets of tiny diamonds. This is the kind of craft you want to do while you've got like a film on or something. This is going to be so boring to watch, so I'm not going to do much of it. <laughs> Are you enjoying this? Love that crinkly sound. Does sequin art still exist? Yeah, I think so. Right. So, we're going to tip a few of our little guys in. Now the problem is, this is unsealed. We're going to use this guy. I'll pop you in there. Oh, don't you go anywhere. I'll pop you just here. Okay. You want to take a little dabber. Can you see it's got like a little... Um... Oh, God, I'm crap at this. It's... it's... I can't describe it. It's metal knob at the end. Um, it's good to have these tub sets which hold all the diamonds for you. Yes. 
Um, I can't imagine trying to do this with my two cats. I don't think cats would be very good at it, Shirley. I think you definitely need like opposable thumbs um, for this kind of thing. It's not it's not for cats. It is it it is just for humans. Um, you can buy nicer pens for diamond art with a wax knob. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this. I've got some nicer ones downstairs, but this this isn't. Don't like this one. Um, off topic, but I'm in love with the nail colour. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, hollow metal thing. Yes, that's what it is. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this back a little bit. You don't want to put. You don't want to rip the whole thing off because then you're just left with a lot of exposed sticky. You want to do it bit by bit. Shape these so that you get them the right way round. Okay, then you just you don't want to lean on these sticky. And then you just pick one up and pop it on the, I've already done it wrong. <sighs> this is hard. Let's just push it up a tiny bit. A tiny bit. A tiny bit. Oh, oh look, see I, I put a bit of the waxy in my hollow knob. You know what I mean? Um, lots of fluff on the sticky. Yeah, you don't want to get fluff on the sticky. Um, let's try again, let's try again. God. Wow, I had one from B&M that was much easier because each, it was sticky dots. So, and also it was mass, it, it was for children. <laughs> it was massive diamonds and not many dots. This is like, got really quite like ready. This is a slow pace, guys. Like we've done three so far. We, <laughs> we've done that. <laughs> <laughs> we've done like smaller than a baby's fingernail amount right <laughs> um, you can still push them around to put them in the right place oh okay yeah so there's a bit of movement there um so it says i'm doing a b&m canvas one of an owl yeah is it is it like this uh where's your dress from it's from journey thank you oh such a lot of tits sorry uh actually you're inspiring me to never do this <laughs> great <laughs> what a great ad was good job this isn't an ad or good job i'm not working with the brand <laughs> i'd be devastated i'd have to give them some sort of compensation right let's just do nine come on we're nearly once you get into a rhythm right listen to the sound of it i like the sound bit nice isn't it so I've done that much about the size of half of my baby fingernail the round gems are easier but the square ones look better oh wow you're a bit of a connoisseur of the old diamond art there um Flo says I have a Lion King diamond painting from Hobbycraft that's awesome um I love how we all stop commenting to listen did you hear it did you hear it's when you put it down it makes that like so let me do it again. Right, ready? So. Did you hear it? It was like, was it pulled off? Did you hear it? ASMR, yeah. I wish I, if um, you could probably film this and have like a nice mic or something, couldn't you? Um, did, did anybody hear it? Feel like no. <gasps> Jenny said she heard it very faintly. Yeah, okay, some people heard it. Okay, good. I can't believe it's 500 people on this absolute mad life. Um, right, we'll do a couple more and then we'll take some questions. Uh, I had headphones on and thought it was a fart. It was not a fart. Um, I would not fart live. I would hold it in. Um, I'm going to tell you a story time in a second. Let's just do three more. Right, ready? So many L's. So many L's. Wow. Has anyone ever completed a whole diamond art? What do you even do with it when you finish? Frame it, I suppose. Right, here's a story time for you. A long, long time ago, I made a sponsored YouTube video. It must have been a lot. I haven't had a sponsored YouTube video in ages. Um,
I made, I'm, I'm putting that to one side and we're getting a bit of face. Boop. Um, I made this sponsored YouTube video. And obviously when I'm filming a sit down video, I can like pause, I can like re-say something if I feel like I didn't say it very well. I can just, um, what's how lovely, la, la. Yeah, if I'm filming a video and it's my video, I'm editing it all, I can stop, I can pause, I can do whatever I like really. And I edit all the videos. So I always know that if like, for example, if I'm like adjusting my top, I just know that I'll edit that bit out. This video was for a brand. When I make my own videos, they don't need to go anywhere before I upload them. But if it's for a brand, like if they've paid to have a product promoted in that, I make the video and then I send it to my management and they send it on to that brand for them to like check that they're happy with everything I've said. Usually a brand is, but occasionally they'll be like, oh, can you put some writing on the screen to clarify this? Or can you cut that bit out, etc., etc." So I edited this whole thing. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna ruin the story by telling you this. There was a bit where, so something about me is when I get like really nervous or worked up about something, I get really like, I like swallow a lot of air. I don't know if I'm like gulping or something. And I always get really nervous when I do brand work. Like, would I say nervous? Yeah, I would. Because I'm like, oh my God, they're gonna see it. Am I saying it right? Is this okay? Will my audience like it? But will the brand like it? And it's like too many people to please. It stresses me out. So I did, I said my thing that I wanted to say. I did this massive burp. I'm not talking like a, I'm talking like bah, kind of a burp and then I like composed myself and carried on the next bit because I knew it was going to edit that bit out right you all know where this is going long story short I edited the video sent it over to my management and thank god that they um watch things before they send it off because it was a lovely girl called Sophie she messaged me she was like hello love the video just quickly just wondered did you mean to leave the moment in at like 10 22 seconds I was like what is she talking about went back I left the burp in I left the burp in luckily we managed I edited it she sent it back I edited it before she sent it to the brand or it made it to the internet but been online 14 years, <laughs> these things happen. Um, Stacey, she says, Louise, I am crying. Um, ha ha, no, no, lots of no's, yeah. Um, fortunately, I don't think something like that has happened live. Um, we all remember the prawns of 2012. <laughs> Less said about that, the better. Um, blah, blah, blah. Louise, do you still use your mermaid lounge? do I have a mermaid lounge fly do you mean the handbag with the fork on the top I don't really use it <laughs> I've got it I don't use it a lot I always think I'll take it to Disney and do a Disney bag, but it's not really that practical for Disney um yeah that's the bag yeah I don't have I do have it I just don't use it as much as I should um Oh, who remembers Darcy's mermaid face? I do. Right, um, I'm gonna call an early end. As I say, we'll only do half an hour of this because I'm running out of steam and I don't want to like slowly just like power down. I want to leave on a good note. Thank you very much to everybody that has come to this last month of lives. Like this has been. I feel like I just sit up here in my little corner room and it's like the old times. This feels so nice. This is how I am all the time, but I just feel like I often have to like self-edit or hold back. And I don't really know what, well, I do know it's because people are mean, aren't they, sometimes? And I, wor I over-worry. Um, I mean, I guess people could be mean on here, but they tend not to be. Right, thank you. I love you all lots. I'm gonna go and check my TikTok, because I did upload a little TikTok um, before I went live. And I'll see you all soon. I love you, I love you. And thank you so much for watching. Oh, lovely comments. If you've not already, please do thumbs up the video. It really helps. Okay, thank you. Bye. Oh, I can't find the button.